Hello there, Mad Mike here, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today, uh, we're going to be going again, kind of into uh, a bit of a, a broad subject, but it's just kind of an explanation uh, for people that don't know too much uh, about it. Um, but before we get to that, uh, I would like to say that uh, this Saturday night, I am going to be starting a new live stream show on my channel, which is going to be called Rated R Riffs. And we are going to be, uh, basically, it's going to be a, kind of a watch party thing. Uh, I'll explain it at the beginning of that video as well, uh, where the stream when we start it. But basically, what we're going to do is we've picked a film. We have picked Congo. Um, uh, me and my uh, two partners, Vash the Ashtray and Cham, who uh, you would know from some of Weaponized Nerd Rage's streams. Uh, so... Those two guys are going to come onto my channel, and together we are going to watch the film, uh, and we are going to do a live stream riff of the movie. Now, what we would like to do, or what uh, is kind of the purpose of it, is the people that are going to be in the chat and the people that are going to be uh, listening to us talk... Um, you're going to be... Uh, basically, we want you to put uh, you, um, the same movie in with us and watch it with us so you can listen to the commentary while you're watching the movie um so i hope it kind of catches on i've been wanting to kind of do the live stream thing for a little while but i didn't really know what to organize i just didn't want to do a conversation because that's basically what i've done a lot of the times on weaponized nerd rage's channel uh so uh if you that sounds interesting to you, come and tune in. Again, it's we're just doing it for fun, uh, so you know we're just gonna, we're just gonna bash the hell out of a, out of a bad movie. Uh, so, you know, again, if you want uh, some fun and a fun little conversation and kind of sit down and do something interactive uh, with us, then uh, we'd really like to have you there. So, thank you very much, uh, whoever is going to do that. I'll put a uh, comment out in the discussion section of the channel so everybody will get a notification. Uh, and uh, thank you again for your time. Now, to get to the actual matter at hand uh, is the idea of what is so bad that it's good uh, when it comes to film. And even to TV to an extent, but mostly to film. And I've had a lot of people ask me this over the years because it's a term that I like to use that they, they don't really understand in terms of uh, you know, in terms of, you know, just movies and stuff like that, like to them, a bad movie is a bad movie, a good movie is a good movie. There's no such thing as so bad that it's good. Um, but the, the saying itself has kind of, it has a, almost a cyclical meaning where you've gotten so bad to the point where you've actually gotten to the point where you're so bad that you are actually now entertaining. Um, and it's kind of, it's an idea that is basically kind of, you have a film, you have a film that somebody made that it's not very, usually it's not very good from one aspect or another, whether it's special effects or acting or uh, the script or the, the, you know, or the people they have in the movie. Uh, regardless, it's a movie that was made that was bad, that kind of sucked, and a lot of people don't give a shit about, and it just got swept under the rug in its theatrical run, if it even had one to begin with. Um, and... Uh, the, but the movie is still entertaining, just not in the way that it was meant to be. Uh, you know, a really great example is the film Troll 2, which, again, if you're a good, bad movie fan, then you know about Troll 2. I think most people that are kind of into movies have heard of it. Um, but for those people that don't, it was basically a, a name-only sequel, and in that, by that I mean it was an Italian production uh, that basically made a sequel to a movie called Trolls, except the movie itself is actually a movie called Goblins, uh, but they changed it to Troll 2 because they wanted it to be a sequel to the movie Trolls, and then people watched and realized it was had absolutely no relation uh, to the first Troll film, and it's really just about, it's actually about Goblins, and a lot of it doesn't make any sense, but it's hilarious to watch, because the thing is, the purpose w of it was to be a horror movie. And it failed miserably at that. It, it's a terrible horror movie. Uh, but it's gone so pathetic in the horror department that it's actually gotten funny. So it's essentially, it's almost like watching a comedy, even though it's not meant to be a comedy. Uh, and that's kind of what so bad that it's good means. It means that it is not entertaining in its intended uh 
in its original intent. You know, you make a thriller and it doesn't do anything, then, you know, it's a shitty thriller. But if you do something else, if it's so bad that it's good, then it gets to the point where it's just funny. Basically, so bad that it's good movies usually just turn into comedies. They always turn into comedy uh, because that's really the only way to view the film in many cases where it is actually entertaining. Uh, but that's the idea of, of these movies is that these people have made something that is hilariously entertaining, but it is so terrible. And in order to do it, you have to be you the people that are in this film have to be committed they have to be committed to doing their jobs and they're they're serious and they're into it but they don't come off correctly and but that's the thing is you have to have those people that are 100% invested and even if that person is even if that actor is over the top and and you know the performance is insane it's just as long as you can tell that they are so into it that they're what they're doing in their scenes and stuff like that and they're so into the acting that they're just losing their minds that's what you have to have you, you, just people phoning it in doesn't work really that well it's just kind of cringy but when people are so commit are kind of committed to it but it just comes out really weird and wrong and doesn't make a lot of sense that's a lot of what uh, so bad that it's good is is that kind of uh you know going it, it's almost the the intensity of it it's kind of strange it, it's it's off a little bit um but you know, the, that's really what the base is. The base is the fact that the movie is so bad that it has now gone from whatever genre it was originally uh, to becoming a comedy uh, unintentionally. And, and basically, you know, it a lot of them become cult films and stuff like that. You have stuff like Big Trouble in Little China. You have stuff like The Room. Uh, you have stuff like... Um, you know, Sylvester Stallone movies like over the top. Um, you have you know a, a bunch of stuff that just kind of it it's gotten better over the years because people have found it and it's been amusing to them. You know, as time moves on. You know, when it came out in theaters, nobody saw it. You know, that's what that's what most of these movies. That's what happened to most of these movies. But, you know, they came out in theaters. Nobody wanted to go see them because they were you know crap, and uh, you know obviously they were bad movies. But then once people started discovering them in like. Uh, um, like video stores and stuff like that. That's where these movies you got like a second life uh, in terms of their uh, cultural significance. And that's where a lot of so bad that they're good movies come from is just those random movies that you find, that you used to find in a, in a video store in the 80s and the 90s. Uh, and, well, even the late 2000s, stuff like that. And even when they had DVDs and stuff, you just find these random movies that are just completely balls to the wall insane or just complete the just complete train wrecks and you take them home and you watch them just because you like watching bad shit and then you say you bring your friend over and say hey you gotta watch this and then he brings another guy and then you lend it to your other buddy and before you know it the whole school has seen this random movie that was at the video store that nobody knew about you know a week a week ago that's essentially how the cult classics almost pretty much all cult classics used to start uh was just you know through the rental markets for the most part because you know you can pick up a rental dvd nobody gives a shit you know you can have any number of them and you can rent them out um and you know that that's i think what a lot of people don't get is like you know because they think it's the enjoyment of like why are you, why do you enjoy watching a shitty movie like, how can you enjoy that? And that's really the only answer is that it is so comedic uh, to see a, a film just fall flat on its face in the most comical way possible, like a, you know, the, like a Charlie Chaplin type of way, uh, you know, something like that. But, uh, you know, it's really just kind of a concept that uh, a lot of people that really enjoy uh, cinema, you know, in, in, in certain aspects, uh, really kind of just dig it up and they, you know, they present it to other people. And again, that's how that, and the internet has helped with it too, a lot. Uh, you know, somebody posts on a forum or they upload a video or something happens, goes viral. And, you know, then suddenly people who didn't know about, you know, whatever movie now know about it. And like, you know, millions and millions of other people know about it. So... <sighs> That that actually kind of dove into more of an explanation of uh, cult classics, but it does uh, it does apply to so bad that it's good. Uh, but you know, what's your opinion on so bad that it's that they're good films? Um, you know, I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, 
do you like so good that they're bad? Do you think it's stupid? Uh, what's your favorite if you have one? Uh, and, you know, just leave that information in the comments. I like to read it. Um, and uh, hit the subscribe button. Uh, put a like on the video. Uh, hit the bell for notifications. And remember, I live my life free of compromise. Do you?